All right, this is John Chapman with 49ers Hub and Eat Sleep Fantasy, and we're going to be breaking down Jarek McKinnon's game film and kind of what we can expect. And we're going to break this down into a few different categories. Number one is going to be receptions because that's what he's going to be used for predominantly. Uh, then rushing, pass protection, and some areas uh, that he can improve on. So right off the bat, we're going to jump in and kind of see what he brings to the table just from a simple skill set. So this very first play that we're going to see, um, he is lined up with the Mike linebacker here, and as we get going, you can see right off the bat, he is responsible for him in the flats. It's third and four, and this is why you pay Jarek McKinnon money. It's not fair for this Mike linebacker, <laughs> who has other responsibilities as well. You can see his eyes. He's not looking at his key where he's supposed to. He cannot keep up with a guy that runs 4-4 out in the flats. That is a free play um, automatically. And so as we go through this, just understand what we are looking for is what separates him, his game film, his technique, his footwork, his vision, all these things, and just trying to show you exactly where we get these ideas from. Now, again, on this play right here, this is just a simple backyard football screen. Nothing special. He kept, he catches the ball. He's not even facing downfield. It's just our guys in space. You can see he's got great blocking set up. And what can he do with space? Um, the acceleration is just unreal. And whenever he gets into this stage, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more. This is the gliding stage. You can see here, neither one of his feet are on the ground. He's literally like a cheetah. He just makes... A lot of plays. Um, and he's just great in space. Again, as you can see, nothing complex about this. Let's just put you out in the flats and let's see what you can do. O obviously, a great catch. He's a natural pass catcher that catches with his hands well. Now let's see what he can do. He plants his feet, gets upfield. Again, let's just scoot this back just a little bit and see what he can do as soon as he has met with these guys. He's got two guys and look at the first down line. Way to fight. Puts his nose in there. Absolutely impressive. All right. So right here, what we're going to see is he's going to come out. And again, watch this linebacker. <laughs> you can see who's responsible for him, 57. And you've got about 10 yards space between them. This is not going to go well. One-on-one. Um, -on -one, and again, watch his hips and hit the seam. Now, I'll give it to this linebacker to get his hands on him to make a play. But again... This is nothing that is very complex, and if you look at it just from a scheme standpoint, from Kyle Shanahan, I mean, again, you're just finding a way to get this guy ISOed up on a backer in zone coverage and drop it underneath and let him do what he's going to do. And again, 16-yard gain, just like that. Now, right here, this is awesome because, again, he doesn't make the play. And you can see him right here in the corner of the end zone. I'm going to back it up just a little bit. He draws pass interference. Again, you can tell they're isoed up on each other here. And this linebacker, again, is responsible for getting them. But he turns his whole body around. It's a terrible pass from Keenum. But it doesn't matter. He draws the pass interference penalty just because of how scary he is. Um, here, just gets out in the flats. Look at this space. Oh, my gosh. And, and here's what's so special about Jarek McKinnon. He is a player that has to be accounted for at all times. There is nobody around him, and his speed is going to turn this into a gigantic gain because this is a busted coverage out of the back, but that's not what makes him so special. What makes him so special is now what you're going to have to do the next time you play, you have to make sure your linebacker scrapes out, which opens up everything underneath for the rest of your team. Um, he is a chess piece that you can use to create so much more. Um, this one's awesome because, again, you can see his eyes moving back and forth. Uh, let me rewind that just a little bit. You can see him surveying the field and who his responsibilities are. Watch his eyes. He is, man, he's a very smart guy and what he knows what to do. He acts like he's going to block. He slips out. Man, after that, let's just get some extra yards there. Here we have another play again, just where he checks out in the flats. And I went with the 22 film on this, just so you can kind of see the play design and the play scheme that, that's going on here. Um, they have a kind of bracket coverage with these two guys, the inside-outside cut. And <laughs> this, is, this is not fair. So what you're going to have here is just, again, he's just going to kind of run a pick-rub play. He's responsible for deep here. And then you just slide him out into the flats. And so... 
again, when, <laughs> you see him running kind of a just a wheel route out in the space. He's so open. Catches the ball and just turns it up. This is just Kyle Shanahan special. Getting people open in space uh, through scheme. And that's what he is going to do. Uh, right here, slips through. Now, this is awesome because, again, it, these guys are linebackers. I get it. But he's got a right angle on him. He's running full speed as he caught it. And let's see if they catch him. Uh, spoiler alert, not even close. This guy is unreal. You're not catching him from behind. And I'll show you another play later when a safety and a corner, both who ran 4-4s four uh, in the combine, try to get out to him, and they cannot. But you don't catch this guy from behind. And once he gets in this stage, again, this is the gliding stage. Uh, this doesn't make sense what his body is doing, but he's just such a freak athlete that he can manipulate and do things that are very, very special. Um, here you see him split out wide, which you don't get to see very, very often. But it creates an empty set and puts him in man coverage with a linebacker outside. So this linebacker is responsible for him, and he runs what's called like a little Q route where you fake an in, pivot back outside, and I mean, you can just watch the space that continues to get created as he goes into this route. Again, why do they have a linebacker out there? Uh, they personneled it. You've got a tight end. You've got a running back, so it's 11 personnel, so you got to have your linebackers out there. But watch this space that just, it's unreal. <laughs> 15 yards just on a simple, that's a flag football route right there. All right, right here again, <laughs> you see him come over and check to see if he can pass protect, which he is exceptional at, and we'll get to that uh, in the next little clip. But you see him come over and he checks. There's nobody there. So at that point, you just become an outlet. It, it's like inbounding the ball in basketball. You just get to a spot that's open and see what you can do. Now, this shows just how great of a pass catcher he is. He's a natural pass catcher. Which, what we mean by that is, I know it's not a zoomed-in shot, he goes and gets the ball. He does not wait on the ball to come to him. He attacks it away from his body and then just, oh, man, <laughs> that guy barely got a hand on him. You just see him just put the moves on him, and he did this to the Rams all day, just creating um, just creating on his own. It's exceptional. All right, right here. Again, I don't know why the running uh, the linebacker left. Um, he should have checked him or something. As he comes out, this guy's got to get his hands on him or be responsible for him. It's a busted play. It's what it is. And again, this is all formation alignment. You have trips away. With a running back and tight end away. And these guys are doing kind of an inside-outside bracket coverage. And it doesn't work. It's a bad zone scheme to start with. The tight end runs them all off. That's just free yards. That's eight yards on first down for free. And if you're going to play that way, you're not going to win a lot of games. All right, right here again. Catches the ball away from his body. Uh, we got a linebacker coming out that's got a good angle. And nope, <laughs> lower body strength is just unreal. Gets the first down. And, and the one thing that is very underrated about Jarek is his game awareness is off the charts. He is a guy that fights very, very hard over and over again for that first down line. He always knows where he's supposed to be, and you don't see missed assignments from him. But great play there. Now let's get into one of the things that is very important uh, in pass protection with Jarek McKinnon. He was awesome. Um, you can see here, I mean, that is a free blitzing linebacker <laughs> coming straight up full speed. This guy is the A-gap blitz, and you can tell Jarek's looking over there. He knows it's coming, man. And he steps up, and he is not shy. He loves contact. He might be a little bit smaller, and he takes the worst of this hit. But he lets his quarterback get off the pass, and he doesn't get killed. So you got to take that. Again, right here you can see him surveying the field with his eyes. And as soon as the play comes, he, he picks it up again. A-gap bl uh, A gap blitz, steps up with a linebacker, and look at his leverage and his stance. His, his legs are a little too wide, but what you want him to do is you want him to be underneath at a much lower, and you want him to eat grass. And what, what that means is... You don't want to make a pass protection block back here. You want to get as much grass. You want to cover as much field as possible and make the block as close to the line. That way he's not in your quarterback's face. And so you see him step up um, and then not only step up, but drive that linebacker all the way past the quarterback. 
This is just awesome. Carlos Hyde was amazing at this in San Fran, but Jarek McKinnon actually graded out better uh, according to PFF and pass protection. Um, effort, man. That's just pure effort. Absolutely great job. All right, again, staying with the Rams. Steps up again, and again, doesn't meet him in the backfield. You don't want to block here. and We have a great point of reference here with the 15-yard line. So let's see where he initiates contact. He steps up, and again, boom, look at that, right there on the yard line. That's exactly what you want, bringing his feet and fighting through. Just exceptional. Now, right here, we can see on the goal line, this is where it gets a little scary. I'm going to go quick here, but... It, you got to throw it in the end zone? No problem. I got you. And here's the last one I'm going to show you. Just steps up and boom. Look at him get underneath that. That is just, man, that's awesome. So I, I understand that he got back into the quarterback's grill a little bit, but absolutely exceptional. All right, now we're going to get into the run game. Um, this is kind of a mixture of a lot of different run games. We're going to see an outside toss here. And we understand that he, he has speed to the outside. That That's who this guy is. Um, and hopefully we'll find out that he can do a lot more. But again, once he gets into this space area, oh my gosh. That's two four four guys and Kindle uh Prince of Mukamara and Kendall Fuller chasing him down with angles on both sides and getting nothing. But watch this gliding that he does once he gets going full speed. Once he gets upright and light on his feet and maintains his speed, that's just something special. And we're going to see a couple of these this year, these huge kind of 60-plus yard touchdowns, just because of the space that he gets. Now, right here, man, <laughs> that is a thing of beauty. This is just a side jump cut to make an unblocked man miss in the back. I mean, that is just unreal. But what's special about it is as soon as he makes the jump cut, he's already looking to the second level. Makes the cut, looking to the second level, and then lowers his head. He gets eight yards out of nothing. Should have been a negative play there. Um, again, another player in the backfield. But goodness, look how small he gets through this kind of heavy traffic area and just disappears. I mean... He is just in the thick of it and just hiding behind <laughs> all these blockers and just bouncing off of people and keeping his feet the whole time. He doesn't have good contact balance, somebody that you would see like Kamara or Kareem Hunt. Uh, he doesn't have that, but what he does have is he is insane agile and can bend his body in some crazy positions, just not so much through contact. Perfect 15-yard run there. Now, Right here, look how fast he hits this hole. Everybody thinks Kamara is just this speed, agile, kind of spark athlete, which he is those things. But as you watch his film, he hits the hole on a regular basis and wastes no movement. He gets straight through there. That's just awesome. He, he's very well-rounded back and doesn't get a lot of respect in that area. Okay, right here, let's continue talking about the run game and just kind of what he can do. Goodness, look, where do you go here? There's no hole. There's a tiny little bitty crease here, maybe, but he creates on his own. Bounces outside. Now he's got one-on-one -on -one with the corner. Oh, my goodness. This is, okay, real quick, this is very, very hard to do. The plant off the inside cut leg, um, that doesn't make sense. Almost all people cut on the outside leg and pivot inside. There's a very few running backs. I mean, look at his insane body torque here. Um, Barry was one of the best ever at this. LaShawn McCoy does this. Uh, Saquon Barkley uh, just got through grading out a lot of his film. He does this. That's special. Um, these kind of super agile freak athlete guys can accomplish this, but that's not that's not normal. Uh, makes him whiff in space and gets, again, 14 yards off of a busted play that shouldn't have gone anywhere. Now, again, let's see him. He tries to get through here. Um, all the gaps are accounted for. He's got this little bitty gap there. You can see his wide receiver trying to block for him, <laughs> get knocked backwards. And, man, makes him miss and goes and gets it on his own. Absolutely great job. Now, right here, you can see him come out. Linebackers got the angle on him, but look at this stiff arm. Pushes him to the ground. 
turns it. Oh, nice little finish there. He decides that it's not enough. He wants to prove a point. Great stiff arm and then cuts it up quick as anything and lowers the boom on a linebacker. Uh, that's a safety. But still, it doesn't matter. The attitude is there. Um, he might be a smaller back, but he plays with some great physical force. And, man, once he gets going, he's a confidence guy. So once he has some positive plays, that continues. Goodness, oh my gosh, I see the hole opening up. Everything's closed play side right here, but you're going to see just this huge crease. So boom, right there. It is completely stuffed right here, and you can already see this backside uh, B gap. Oh my gosh, just gone. And then there's that gliding again. Once he kind of turns and gets going, that's when the specialness happens. Absolutely great. This would be the last rust breakdown right here and goodness you can kind of see i love this end zone view um all coaches do especially if you're doing line or backs just because you can kind of see what he's looking for and so you see him come right here and you see the hole present itself and they're two gapping at this there because they have aaron donald and they're saying he can cover both of those so they're doing that on purpose and you can see he gets his hands out. Look at those big old mitts. Look how he's coming through that hole. He's getting small. Um, he's going behind his pads. He's got that ball tucked away, ball security. He's only fumbled the ball three times in his entire career. Um, and so um, he gets something and then gets suplexed by Aaron Donald because it's freaking Aaron Donald. But this is a great example of getting small through the hole. And people say that he can't be an in-between-the-tackles runner. And I completely disagree. Uh, this is a four-yard gain whenever there's not much there to get. Um, here we go again. Look at his eyes already. You see it turn. You can see the little skull. You can see where the play is supposed to go. They've got the wall here. They've got the lead blocker. Let's see what he can do. Boom. Hits that hole perfectly. That that's. It's not. This is not going to be a highlight play. And I understand this. But this is a play that gets you first downs and gets you moving and gets things going. You're in the red zone. That's a huge, important play. Um, all right, here we go. Man, he goes quick. He takes that ball and just bounces it. And watch his feet. Watch his feet. Boom, just gone. As soon as he is gone, then it gets weird. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he looks like a Madden character out there. Watch him do this plant on the outside cut right there. Look, he's setting him up. He's got a plant on the outside and then add a spin to it. So he's there. They're over pursuing because of the speed. <laughs> and then, boom, spins off a of contact, but they've got good pursuit on the D-line coming up. This is like, it's like a little kid playing Madden that just keeps hitting the spin button. He's a freak out there. And, gosh, if this guy wasn't pursuit all the way down, that could have been a huge home run. But absolutely just freak of an athlete. Now what I want to do is get in just to a little bit area of concern. Now, Jarek is, he's special. He really is. But if he has one major area of weakness, it's this right here. His contact balance is pretty weak if he's not at full speed. And he is constantly being brought down by single arm tackles. Um, he goes down on first contact quite often. Now, I don't know what that lineman's doing there. But again, like, uh, if, if you watch this, like, he gets pulled down by this lineman just sticking his arm out there and barely making contact. Trips him up a little bit, but, like, this is very common for him. So it, once he gets going full speed and he can create and make people miss, he's going to juke people a lot more than he's going to run through. Arm tackles work against Jarek McKinnon. Um, so hopefully Kyle Shanahan can put him in space and we can see what happens. Um, this is him in pass pro. This is not really his fault, but I wanted to talk about it. Um, you can kind of see it's a high pass, uh, but it hits both of his hands. Um, but it goes over and gets intercepted. And the other team takes it and runs back. This isn't something that he does much. He has a very high catch rate. Um, his catch rate is super high, actually. Uh, he's put up 66%, 72%, 81 and 75 71% in his career. So he's not a guy that drops a lot of passes, and he doesn't turn the ball over much. He's had three fumbles in his entire career. 